Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome to a spooky retro Pudge Plays edition with the game Werewolves of London for the Commodore 64. This is without a doubt my favourite ist favoritist is that a word it's probably a word it's, it's 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 a word now it's my favoritist game ever on a commodore 64 i was lucky enough to come across this back in woolworths there's, there's an old school reference for you back in woolworths when i was all pff, about seven or eight years old and i fell in love with it i'm at this point i'm going to throw up a scan of the original cassette cover because it is amazing. There's so much attention to detail there. And it made it stand out. It, it reminds me of the old Hammer Horror films. You know, sort of that traditional misty London with the underground sign in the background. And the, the guy who's obviously based on the Don Cheney Jr. werewolf. Just there going, grrr, and, and grrr, and, and, and I'm going to kill you and eat you and stuff like that. <laughs> so, but yeah fantastic artwork so that's what originally pulled me in this game was only 199 it was released in the end by mastertronic uh, on their budget range after Ariola soft went bump and it was released about a year after it, it was originally made as i said I, i'm guessing the funding ran out or maybe the developers just gave up when they found out that Ariola soft couldn't release it and that's why they didn't finish the zx spectrum version supposedly it, it can't be completed because of the the um the words which aren't coming out of my mouth the the support of the homebrew community that an, an, an ending has been made up now thankfully and it's a very basic ending it's you've completed the game ta-da sort of thing but even so even so uh, the game itself it's it's very much an open world game as much as it can be on, on uh, such a, a small bit computer like the commodore 64 or even the zx spectrum it's free form you are a werewolf you have been cursed by eight family members and it's your job to travel around london and kill them basically and if you kill them all you break the curse which is great super smashing great but as you kill more people regardless of whether they're family members or just normal people then the police presence increases and you've got more chance of either being shot at by police holding guns or arrested by police holding keys but enough of that. I think we better crack on. This is this is going to be a full playthrough. I'm just going to play it for 15 minutes. Roll about in the nostalgia. Put in a couple of facts, possibly, if anything comes to mind. And just take it from there. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Press fire to play, damn it, Padge. There we go. And straight away, we are into the game. That is us in werewolf form. Look at us. Grrr. Arg. And uh, in front of us here, we have a file. Now, as you can see, we've got different boxes here. We can hold... Numerous things, like files, and they're worth keeping hold of. If you pull it onto what is at the moment the werewolf portrait, he jumps. Sometimes. I thought he jumped. Maybe he jumps under cir certain circumstances and not this jump. I'm sure he jumped. Oh, God, I'm getting old. I'm starting to forget stuff. So here we are. We are walking around London. Now, arguably... Oh, Lordy! Oh, Lordy! We've got to keep away from those guys. If they get near us, they arrest us, and we lose the file as well. I'm hoping if we come this way. Oh, now, see that guy? He is a family member. He needs to die. Oh, no, we got arrested. <laughs> Great start. Great start. Uh, locked away again. This, this, is, this is something I'm very aware of. This, this is one thing I was very good at doing it, uh, when I was younger, playing this game. I was getting arrested all the time. Now, the problem with this game is this iteration of it being a... a a slight conversion so not based on the the actual original version is that it's well i, I don't want to say harder but the, the the police at the very least are a lot more aggressive than they are on the zx spectrum and the amstrad from what i've seen of other people playing this game that's look at you damn pigs shielding the women terrible Oh, so there we go. There's another guy we need to capture. Now, the other problem with this game, in this situation, where are you going now, is... Where are you going now? There you are. No, he knows it. He knows it. Go, go on. In, go into there. No, don't hang around by the, the guy with the police. Good. That's not good. Because I'm going to change in a second. You're going to die. I'm going to get shot. No one's going to be happy. Eat him. Eat him. Eat the body. It's all gone. It's, oh, God, there's jailers around now. 
So at this point, there you go. You can see the guy with the, the gun. He's going to shoot at us. Oh, he's going to arrest us. I was saying something. I've completely forgotten. I get so caught up in these games. And I can't go that way. Oh yeah, so the so because this is a conversion, that I, I believe from what I've read that the the Commodore sixty four version was the hardest. Oh god, just go away! I've only eaten the one person. Two of them? That's not even fair. You're bullying me. They're following? No, we're good. We're good. Uh, the Commodore sixty four version ramped up the aggressiveness of the police compared to the Spectrum and, and Amstrad versions. So it's a case of oh lordy, oh lordy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because there was... Where is she? I'm, I'm trying to get past this copper. No, not happening. <laughs> I, I'm sure I saw another cross there. That's all right. We're back to normal now anyway. Oh. Um, so I never really got that far. I think the best I got was probably about six crosses. All in the one playthrough and that was playing it for hours um, and I'm talking hours and hours and hours can I even get the file anymore do I have to kill people to get the file I think I have to kill people to get the file which isn't ideal that is not ideal right so we are looking oh I saw a flash she's there the harlot got to keep on her tail don't let her go now the nice thing about this is you can actually bully them into the corner if need be. I might be able to get away from here, actually. Keep going, woman. Keep going. I'm going to harangue you into the corner. And hold you there. You can't escape. Rah! Gone. Oh, and she's left me a subway ticket. I'll take that. Oh, I've turned the music off. There we go. Why can't I pick up the subway ticket? Oh, God. Oh, come on. I'm... Maybe I can't pick it up whilst I'm a werewolf, but I picked up the file. Why can't I pick up my bloody subway ticket? You know what? We can jump. We don't We don't have to rely on the subway tickets. We can just jump over the barriers. We're, we're werewolf. We can jump 20 feet into the air if, if we so choose. If we so choose. It should be fine. Oh, you know what? You may be scared of me, good lady, but you've got nothing to fear. Now, I've got a little bit of something to fear when he comes at me in the middle of the screen, but that's fine. We'll give him the old okie doke uh, oh god. No, it's alright, he's lost interest, that's great. Run away! Um, I'm gonna have to hide again. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. We're just gonna hide here. We're not gonna move. We're gonna, no, we're gonna have to move. Oh lordy. There we go. Oh no, that's it, I'm fine. I'm good. I see, I'm human again. See, there's nothing, nothing to fear here. Police officer, sir. All is well. All is well. Just ignore the, the raw meat in the middle of my teeth. That's it's the look. It's the look. I've been having sushi. I've been having beef at a sushi bar. In fact, thinking about it, can I go and pick up that ticket now? I'm pretty sure it was this way. Excuse me. So I didn't mean to harangue you, good sir, of the big shotgun. I think it's this way. No, it's gone. Great. Super. So, yes. Now, the other big thing, or I say big thing, uh, awkwardness about this uh, game is it is a literal maze and from what I gather you can't actually complete this game which way am I now oh hang on maybe this is where the oh run away run away is this where the ticket is this is where the ticket is and I, I definitely you definitely not allow me to pick that ticket up are you I'm just I'm just gonna double check no 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 werewolves are allowed on the subway after midnight. I'm just going to rest here. I'm just going to rest here. Everything's fine. So yeah, it, this is a horrible maze of a game. Two, really. And you're separating. I'm going to go in between. The old okie doke. No, it didn't work. <laughs> so it was a case of having to really play the game to know where you were going. And the issue with that is a lot of the screens look the same. It's very difficult unless you're going to map it out yourself on being able to distinguish what one is compared to another. Oh. Now, the thing which I always found was easier for me as far as being able to locate all the crosses was concerned was if you didn't get caught straight away, like I, I have, you can actually go into Hyde Park. And Hyde Park in itself is a massive place. And there's usually at least one or two family members in there. But more importantly, if you pick up that file at the start and can get to Hyde Park, you can actually 
file out the uh, the bars of the. Um, well, actually, am I in the right place now? Can I go get the ticket? No, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Um, you can file out the bars and then escape from prison if you were to get caught, which in itself is pretty cool. Let's try and jump now. We're going to try and jump into the subway station. No, we're going to get caught instead. Great. Great. Oh, I tell you what, it was a lot easier when playing on a joystick because it was a little bit... It, it was clunky when, when, you, when you pushed in certain directions so you knew you were pushing in that direction, whereas now playing on this Xbox 360 controller... This isn't an excuse, by the way. This isn't an excuse. But playing on a 360 controller, it's very difficult, especially when you're playing with the analog stick, to know how sensitive it is going to be to throwing you up. If anything, I'm going to argue that it's a bit too sensitive. Yes, that's my argument. This, it's a bit too sensitive. We're not actually getting anywhere. <laughs> you see, you can also get, from killing people, a uh, crowbar to get into the sewers, but then you need a torch. We haven't been so lucky as to find the torch as of yet. But hey-ho. Um, I mean, is it worth trying to pick up the, 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 the ticket now? It's, prob it's probably worth trying to pick up the ticket now. So this is a dead end. So if we go this way and then through again... So if we, right, so we go up and then down and then across. Right, okay, so this, this is definitely where the ticket is. This is just going to be 15 minutes of me trying to pick up a railway ticket. I'm, I'm not going to lie, th this, this struggle is real. This, oh, the ticket's gone now. Great, fantastic. The ticket has disappeared. We've, we've come all this way for a ticket and it's, and it's nowhere around. It's nowhere to be seen. Oh. I, I, I don't feel like I'm being the most proactive werewolf at the moment. I mean, we've killed two family members. That in itself is, you know, a life sentence. But hey-ho. And this is another dead end. I, you know what? I think we've pretty much cleared this part of the map. I'm just going to hide here for a second. I'm, I'm still good if we can't jump. Why can't we jump? Is it a double punch? Double, double button push? Up and... Atom? No, nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna hide. I was gonna hide. Oh, of course. As soon as I hide, you out to get me. You know, now I'm, I'm. I'm gonna just say right now. You can, you can kill the guards, but if they touch you, you deed. You know what? Let's try it now. So through there. Can we jump? Ha ha! See, we can jump. Hey. Oh. And, oh no. It's no. It's, now we're going down the escalator and it's all back to normal. All right, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got some bandages. We'll probably need those. Now, as you can see, I haven't explained this bit yet, so we we'll, might as well explain it now. Get out of my way, ladies, please. I'm busy. I'm a man on the mission. I've got curses to break. No, not, not, not in this subway, though. We're, this subway is clear. Do we get back to the escalator? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. I'm not even having to press in the direction. I can't get out now, though, can I? I don't have a ticket. I can't get out until I turn back into a werewolf. This is like... Well, I suppose the underground is the prison for humans, isn't it? Have you ever been on it? I, I find it fascinating. The fact that all that stuff can be working for over 100 years. And all the abandoned subway stations as well. That It's all pretty cool. I'd love to go and have a look around that. But here, I, I was I was going to talk about medicine, wasn't I? So we've got some bandages, as you can see, just below where my crosses are, or just above where my crosses are, we've got this big blood bank available to us. And that is your health. Now, as you get shot or fall off buildings, which you can do, you will slowly drip. If you get shot, you will continuously drip, jump, until you are bandaged. Hence why we have the bandages. Uh, but this, as far as I'm concerned, run, is definitely a dead end. Now, this is, this is fresh territory. We haven't actually been this way yet. But I do feel, yep, we are at the end of what we could possibly go exploring with in this section. Which means we now need to throw ourselves off a... Are we going to get caught? Oh, we got past them. Uh, we need to either throw ourselves off a building. That sounds silly, but bear with me on this. To get to a different part of the... Oh, Lordy, don't shoot! Don't shoot! To get to a different part of the, <laughs> of the, uh, of the map. Or we can just cross here and attempt to jump over here but it doesn't always go according to plan Ugh, oh, here we go jump 
No, we failed. We failed. We must be in a different place though, because this leads to a different section. You know what? I think I'm just going to hang out here for a second. I mean, we've lost a little bit of energy, but... Well, we're not being harangued at the moment. Harangue is my favourite word today. I mean, how many different ways can we go this way? Can't go that way. Oh, we can go that way. Oh, we don't want to go that way, though. Aha! There we go. Right, so... More exploring. Right, so that's a dead end. Let's pop ourselves down here. This is all new, I'm sure of it. We haven't... This is a, I think this is a dead end too, actually. Yeah, this is a dead end too. You shouldn't be out by yourself, lady. There is a killer around. He's dressed in green. He's a lot hairier than me. It's not me. It's not me. Honest. And is that a dead end? Yeah, we said that's a dead end. So this is completely a dead end this way. I mean, I might have to start killing innocent people here just to find some, uh, some tools of the trade. Can we carry on this way? Oh, we can. Where does this lead us to? Oh! Another dead end? You know what? We're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna hide on the roof. Oh, Lordy! Go! I mean I don't think they can come up. I think we're good. But we're definitely in a fresh area, so it's worth checking out. It's worth checking out. It's been so long since I've played this game, it's ridiculous. Uh, the other nice thing I really like about this game is the music. Now, I've read in a couple of reviews that the, the Amstrad versions is the better music. I would argue against that. I think that the C64 music is a lot smoother and better. And the nice thing about this compared to the ZX Spectrum, because there's no music on that, so there's absolutely no reason to try and sort of garner them against each other. The transition between when you're a werewolf to when you're a human and the two different tracks is seamless it's absolutely fantastic and i haven't even mentioned at the start of the game the theme tune is a complete rip-off partially of the warren zephon song werewolves of london Aru, werewolves of london as as the song goes so you know it's i i just i just love it and i've always been a bit weird when it comes to the horror stuff from an early age i was i had a couple of very weird friends who used to watch like the lost boys and stuff at like seven eight years old and so i was subjected to stuff like that you know, very early. It's probably, you know, scarred me in several ways, which haven't really come to fruition yet, but hey-ho. There's still plenty of time for that to happen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've, I've always had an affinity to, to horror games in general, and obviously being a Commodore 64, you don't get that many chances of having good horror games. Um, I can remember, though, that my friend did have the prequel to this game by Viz Design, which was Frankenstein Jr., I don't think I ever played it, though. I don't think I ever played it. Can we go this way? Dead end. So, I think that's pretty much it. We're probably best going down into this underground. I think I'm just going to have to start randomly killing people. Which is fine. I can, I can handle that. I mean, we haven't been into this subway station. So, there's a good chance that there's going to be something of interest here. Ah, yes. The copper. Uh, I mean, we've got the bandage already. It's a weird place to find bandages, though, isn't it? Just randomly in, in the subway. Would you pick up a bandage? Can I eat him? No, I'll get, eat, I'll get uh, arrested instead. It's a weird place to pick up a bandage. If you saw, even if it was sealed, if you saw bandages on the London Underground, I don't think you'd pick them up. That's all I'm saying. I understand I'm a werewolf, and you've just got to make do with what you're given. But even so, even so. I think, uh, you know, it's a bit unhygienic at the best of times, you know? So, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here. You've, you've got the general consensus of the game. I do love this game very much, although I probably haven't shown it in the best of lights. <laughs> and to be honest with you, now I know I can get this working on my C64 emulator, I'm probably going to end up playing it a little bit more and hopefully get a little bit better. Please, please, please go out there and watch proper playthroughs of this game. It can be completed within about... I'm going to jump here. No, I'm not. I can't jump. Um, it can be completed in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just to see the full-on game without me rambling onwards whilst I play really ineptly. Uh, I think it deserves that at the very least. But it is definitely, definitely an open-world game. And not in your sort of traditional sense, but the fact that you can go about this pretty much however you want 
within reason, as I said, c considering it's only an 8-bit game, I think it's phenomenal. And that's probably one of the reasons why... Ah, oh, look at you, you bastard. Where have you been? You're mine, cousin. Cousin? I'm thinking it's a cousin. I hope it's a cousin. He hasn't dropped anything. You know what? Is it worth just going out in a blaze of glory? Should we just kill everyone? Let's kill everyone. Look, he's got a, he's got a ticket. Can I pick his ticket up? Oh, I can pick his ticket up. There we go. We'll never have to pay for the subway again. Everything's just got a lot better. And you, young lady. No, I've got a ticket. That's fine. What about you with a gun? I saw you. Oh, no. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting. You know what? We're gonna, gonna we're gonna go. No, we're gonna eat you. We're gonna eat you. Oh, it's it's a it's a massacre. It's a massacre. Oh lordy, and now I'm caught. <laughs> and oh, as always, I end up in in jail. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. So yeah, Werewolves of London by Viz Designs, probably broken originally, definitely open ended, and worthy of your time if you like this sort of thing. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.